Hi everyone, this is Ailing here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com In this video, I'm going to continue what um, we have left off in the previous one This video is going to talk about the uh, second part of conversion of speed time into acceleration time graph So, let us begin Now, to get the information of acceleration from speed time We zoom in on the gradient of our speed time graph Notice the gradient of uh, this line, it has a constant gradient So we will be experiencing a constant acceleration So this is a line with a positive gradient So your acceleration will have a positive value and it looks like this It's a horizontal line Let's move Now the second section of this is uh, uh, This line here, does it have any gradient? In fact, the gradient is zero. So if the gradient is zero, it also means that the acceleration is zero. So we're just going to put a zero over here to indicate the value. And the last part, uh, when you look at the gradient, it is a constant gradient, but in this case, it has a negative value. So because of the negative uh, gradient, so negative acceleration. Now, um, I'm going to use an example to illustrate this concept clearly This is the example We are given a speed time graph and our task is actually to convert the speed time graph into acceleration time graph So, how do we go about doing that? So, what we want to do first is Make use of this two point Calculate the gradient of this section And if you have done it correctly, you should end up with a value of minus 5 So, since this line here has constant gradient So, the particle will have a constant acceleration at negative 5 So, let me just draw a horizontal line Negative 5 Next, let's take a look from 5 to 12 If we go ahead and calculate the gradient, you realize that it's a zero gradient so it's just a uh, zero gradient will signify zero acceleration So there we go Zero And the last section of this line is uh, It has a constant gradient So you go ahead and calculate that And uh, it gives us a value of 5 and 5 over 9 So 5 and 5 over 9 So da -da, That is our acceleration time graph Isn't it much easier? It, it is usually consists of horizontal line I hope you enjoyed the video Do leave me your comment Or how you find this uh, topic on conversion Goodbye